So guys, can I just one more here? Um, I am gonna answer your questions here in just a moment. Shout out to everybody What's up, Aiden? What's up, Sam? But to those of you watching who saw the live stream last week about Andrew Jordan and about how he basically started talking all this shit to, to me and before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody that stood up for me that day. You guys didn't have to, but you did. You guys are fucking amazing. I can honestly say I have the best fucking fans, the best friends, and the best fucking family in the goddamn world. So fucking kudos to you guys. You all fucking rock. Every single one of you who stood up for me fucking is amazing. I couldn't ask for a better fan base, a better family, or better friends at all. You guys are truly amazing, guys. You guys deserve a huge hand for what y'all did. But to get to my main question about Andrew Jordan, because I've been getting this question a lot. What am I going to do about him? Like, am I just going to let that stand by and, you know, affect me? Or, like, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to quit music because of what he said? Like, I'm beginning all these questions. And my answer to you guys is I am most certainly not quitting music because of this man. Yes, it's true that he did work with my brother and best friend, Matt, who you guys know as PFV. And if you guys don't know, you guys can look him up on YouTube. And if you guys are wondering what the name what name Andrew Jordan goes by, look him up as the name Chaos on YouTube, on Facebook, on social media. He's there. It is there where you will find him. But after the live stream and everything went on, you know, I got to asking him. I was like, hey, like, why did you do what you did? You know, I asked him in a calm manner, like, why did you do it? Like, why did you say those things that you and your friends said to me? And he didn't really give me an answer, so I asked more aggressively. I was like, hey, what the fuck's up, man? Like, why did you do that shit? Like, I've known you for years. So why the fuck now all of a sudden do you turn your back? Well, I don't quite remember what he did say to that in particularly but I do remember this one thing that he told me that I don't know what I'm talking about and that he has 10,000 plus views how many do I have like he wanted to sit there and say that my stuff is trash that I don't belong in the music industry well, you want to know what my response to that was? My response to that was this. I don't care about the views. 
I don't care about whether I get superstardom famous or not. I don't care if I get rich. What I care about and what matters to me are you guys, the fans. You all are the reason I do my music. I do my music for that kid that can't sleep at night because he's being bullied because he's afraid he's going to be beat up the next day. I do it for the kids and the people that that constantly think about suicide. I do it to vent to you guys what's going on in my life every single day. I do it to help those that don't have anything. I do it to help those that need the help. I do it to become the voice for the special needs people and the people who need a voice who don't have one. And that includes every single one of you watching this right now who has been my supporter since day one. That includes every single one of you watching this right now. And everybody asking me, well, what are you going to do about it? Like, are you going to, you know, stand up and challenge him? Like, what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to overcome this? Well, here's my answer to that. And if you guys know this quote, this is quoted by a famous wrestler who you all know as Finn Balor. And it's completely true. Because I do the same thing he does when I'm faced with a challenge. I don't go around the challenge. I don't stop and run tail from the challenge. I step over it. I step over that challenge and I keep going every day. Every day I face discrimination. Every day I face diversity. Every day I face judgment from record labels, from society, from those that don't like my music because they say I use too much auto-tune or I don't do this or I don't do that. Well, my answer to you guys that say that shit is simply this. Fuck you. Don't like it? Don't listen. There's other music out there. But what you guys say about my music, say what you want. Say what you will. It doesn't mean anything to me. Because all your useless words of bashing on me, hey, bro, that's just free promo. Plus, all your words that you talk about how I suck, how I don't know what I'm talking about. When I stated last week that I am like a fighter in the octagon, how I'm like a fighter in the ring. That was true. Because see, one thing a lot of people don't realize are the struggles and the diversity and the discrimination in comments that I face every day. Every day I'm constantly proving myself. Every day I'm constantly battling to show people this is me. This is who I am. This is my life. This is what's really going on. And, you know, it's it's honestly saddening to see such a great artist like Chaos stoop to that level and bash on somebody like that, saying these comments that he said. And if you guys do go back to the live stream, you guys can go back and watch it. It is on there. And also, I do want to give... A special shout out to somebody today whose birthday is today. My good friend who's literally like my family. Brittany Ward, also known as Lashley Ward. So shout out to you, Brittany. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a good one. I really do. So shout out to you. Major happy birthday to you. And happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday today. Like, happy birthday to every single one of you. I 
I do apologize for that, guys. That was somebody calling in. They didn't know that I was live. But, like I said, guys, what am I going to do about this challenge that Andrew Jordan presented me with? Well, first, allow me to fill you in. If you guys didn't watch, let me fill you in on something that he told me last week. Something that really did hurt in a major way when I spoke to you guys about how I should not have lived. These words that he spoke to me still ring in my head to this very day. It's still sickening. It's still, every time I think about it, I get that gut-wrenching, sickening feeling. And those words were that I should have died when I was born. And that I should not have lived after I was born. And that my music is complete shit. And that I do not belong in the music industry. And that I do not know what I'm talking about. When I talk about how I am like a fighter in a ring. Trying to prove myself every day. So if any of you know Andrew Jordan. Or you guys know who he is. Or you guys have him on Facebook. Or if you guys know my brother Matt PFV. I want you guys to send Andrew Jordan this message. Say what you want about me, Andrew. Go ahead and say what you want about me. Think what you want. But at the end of the day, you're the one that stooped low. You're the one that chose to come at me. And my friends, my fans, and my family backed me up. They didn't have to, but they did. Specifically, my sister Sally Ann. She stepped in and said something. And she didn't have to, but she did. Along with many of you who stood up for me. And for that, I thank every single one of you guys. Every single one of you guys means the fucking world to me, whether you know it or not, whether we talk every day or not. Every time I step onto the mic and I fucking record my songs, it's every single one of you guys and every single person who needs that person to be their voice that motivates me to keep going, that pushes me to put out the best music that I can every day. And yes, I do have my gaming channel that I'm focusing majorly on right now as I am taking a break. As I said, I am working on music here and there until, you know, I feel like I'm mentally ready to, you know, come back full time. You know, artists and bands do it all the time. They take breaks, spend time with their friends and family, you know, do stuff that they enjoy. As for me, I enjoy making gaming videos. If you guys don't know, or if you guys do want the link to my channel, message me, and I will send you the message. I'll send you a message with my link personally. Or you can ask my good friend Frankie SP. He has it. Um, Young Fox might have it. Um, Aiden, he might have it. Um, or if you guys want to know, you can look up Ian Ducksworth. He does have it. He is subscribed. But as I said, I don't plan on giving up. The stuff that Andrew Jordan said to me, yeah, it does hurt. I'll admit, it does sting quite a bit in what he said. But I'm using that, what he said. I'm using everything he said against me as motivation for you guys. And am I giving up on music entirely? Most certainly not. Am I pissed off and upset by what he said and heard about it? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Because nobody deserves that kind of treatment. Not myself, 
Not you guys, not anybody. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but not even he deserves that. Even after what he said to me, he doesn't deserve that. Nobody deserves the kind of treatment that Andrew Jordan bestowed upon me last week during my live stream to you guys to give you guys an inside look on what my life is like every day. I know, it's crazy. I know I shouldn't be saying that after what he said to me, but it's true. Nobody deserves that kind of treatment. Yeah, I might wear, you know, like, you know, freaking everything medically to help me, like freaking wrist things to keep my arm, my wrists in socket and ankle braces to keep my ankles from popping out of socket. But you know what? I don't let that stop me. Both physically and mentally, I am challenged every day. But every day I get up and I get in front of that mic and I record the best songs I can for all of you. And if I'm not recording, I'm fucking thinking of songs to record for you guys. I'm thinking of new ways to reinvent what I already know how to do and take it to the next level for you guys. So I can give you guys the best songs that you guys truly enjoy. Because my goal in life isn't to be the most famous or the richest guy in the world. I mean, do I aim for fame to a certain extent? Yes. But not stardom fame. I don't want to be like Lil Wayne or any of them. I want to be different. My goal is to be that famous music artist that didn't do music for the fame, but did it to help people. I want to be known around the world as that guy that became the voice and made a change for people like me who have special needs, who are interested in music, who take it seriously, not just as a career, not just as a hobby, but as a way of life. Music is what I eat, sleep, and breathe every day on a daily basis. And I definitely do want to give a special early birthday wish to my best friend, Samantha Klinger. Shout out to you, Sam. And shout out to, to the newest viewer right now, Jillian. Shout out to you. And also, I do want to give a shout out to a very special new member that just joined. Which, let me scroll up. Tara Lynn Taylor, welcome to the live streams, fam. You rock. You're awesome. Welcome to the live streams. So, guys, if you guys do see them or if you guys see each other in these live streams, you know, you show each other respect and the same courtesy that you guys show me. Show that to each other, man, because we need more of that. Because this hate. Like what Andrew Jordan is trying to spread. It's it's ridiculous. Like, instead of wasting your energy hating somebody and bashing on them, help them out. Lift them up. And if they're not that good with music or whatever they're doing, say, hey, you know, like, this is great. Like, you are good. There is potential, but you need work. So instead of tearing them down, build them back up. How do you think I got some of the best artists for my good friend and mine's small time label, Bloodshot Records? Shout out to Ian Ducksworth. Me and him started that to help people who need that start. And you guys are probably wondering, well, why do I need to be signed to a label if I've already got one running? Well, here's the thing. If I can get signed to a record label, whether it's with a band or 
buy solo, I can create an income for our label and make money to, you know, bring in that revenue to start it up and run it the proper way like we want to do. So you see, I'm basically going to be using one label as the income for the one that me and Ian have going. So if any of you are artists out there and are looking for a good label to start with, with no payments, no bullshit, you know, hit us up, man. Hit up Bloodshot Records. You can hit up myself, Ian Ducksworth. Um, you can hit up Aiden. Um, Aiden, if you guys see him in here, Aiden Schroeder, you guys can hit him up. Like, he's not a part of Bloodshot Records. He's actually a part of Freak Show Records. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Freak Show Records. Y'all rock. Um, yes, I did help produce Young Fox's new album, The King of Alton Mixtape. Um, and I have been seeing this around. Only because Young Fox did mention it to me. No, I did not rip off the King of Alton mixtape. See, the King of Akron was dubbed to me by my best friend and brother, Zachariah Hussein's blood brother. It was given to me by him. His brother Abu bestowed that upon me. Shout out to the Hussein family. I love you guys. And Abu, if you are watching this, man, I want to thank you, man. You, your brother Zach, your whole family for getting me to where I'm at today. If it wasn't for you guys pushing me every day, especially in high school, I wouldn't be here. So I owe my entire career to my brother Zach Hussein and the entire Hussein family for pushing me and getting me to where I'm at. Yes, you guys had a hand in it too, not going to lie. You guys were truly amazing. I got the best fans, the best friends, the best family in the world. But when it came down to it, when I felt like giving up, when I felt like throwing it all away and quitting many times over, Zach was right there telling me, don't give up. Keep on pushing. Do what you were born to do. Make your dreams a reality. And that's something that he told me every day. And even though he is gone, that is something that still to this very day sticks with me. Yes, he may be gone. But I'm here to tell you guys right now that yes, I am the new king of Akron. Yes, my brother Zach was the original king of Akron. Not just because it was a nickname, but it's because of what he did for people. He helped out so many lives and touched so many people. And in his name, there has been a charity started to feed starving kids all across the world. And it started right here in Akron. So shout out to everybody that started that charity. And that's a huge reason as to why I started the record label with my brother Ian called Bloodshot Records to help people like myself, not only locally, but around the world who need that chance, who have been deemed as not worthy by society, who have been shunned by everyone around them, who are talented and very, very skilled in music. It's those people that, I, that me and him started this for. And I can honestly say, we've come a very long ways in these last, just this short couple months that the label's been up and running. 
you know, we've come a long ways. We've reached a thousand views on YouTube, over a thousand views on our YouTube channel in less than a month. And honestly, it's amazing. You know, and it's because of you guys listening that we got that far. So I'm not only speaking on behalf of myself, but right now at this point in time, I'm speaking on behalf of mine and my brother, Ian Duxworth's label, Bloodshot Records. You know, on behalf of the both of us and everybody on Bloodshot, I want to say thank you guys for listening. It's you guys that keep us going, and it's you guys that most certainly keep me going. And are we an official label? Not right now. But like I said, if I can get signed to a label, that's going to change. We plan to make it official once I can get, once me and him, once me and or him can get signed to a professional paying label, then, you know, we will be able to make Bloodshot Records an official full on paying label. But as I said, at this point in time, you know, as I said, I am focusing on taking a break, relaxing, all that stuff, kind of giving you guys an update on what's going on here and there. Um, shout out to everybody who has been watching. You know, I want to thank you guys. Um, you know. And I want to thank everybody that's been listening to my music all the way from the very beginning, from when I started out in 2010, all the way up until now. You guys have given me some of the most amazing years. Even though I have not made any money from any of this, except for my one album, Cybertronica, which is like a couple dollars. You know, I still, you know, I thank every single one of you guys. Because whether I have money or not, at the end of the day, it's you guys. Those of you that enjoy my music. Those of you that have been listening since day one. That keep me motivated. That keep me getting up every single day. Just like those of you that do watch my gameplay videos. It's you guys that I do this stuff for. Like the other day when I did the on the spot thing with Turbo Dismount. And I introduced the character Crazy Brainy. Which if you guys don't know, he is basically my alter ego. He's the character that I do the voice for. For Turbo Dismount. Um, you know, I came up with him kind of like an on-the-spot thing. And you guys responded pretty well to it. Like, I was honestly surprised. So I will be doing more turbo dismount footage with Brainy. And I might introduce some new characters as well. I don't know. But Brainy is definitely going to be in, you know, some stuff. He may even be in a few gameplay videos like behind the scenes like where you guys don't see them just like you know how you guys don't see my face when I do unkilled and stuff like that uh, let's see who else is watching right now shout out to Gina Olivia shout out to Jersey what's up guys But I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys, ultimately, who stood up for me last week against Andrew Jordan. And you guys are probably wondering, am I going to put a diss track out on him after the horrid, awful things he said? No, I'm not. Reason why? I'm better than that. I'm a lot better than Andrew Jordan could ever hope to be. 
I'll admit, he's very skilled as an artist, not going to lie. He's very skilled. But his attitude, the way he carries himself, it's it's sickening. Like, he sits there and acts like he's better than everybody, but he's not. This man is no good. As far as his attitude goes, honestly, he needs an attitude adjustment. And you guys are probably thinking, well, why am I not going to put a diss track out on him after what he said to me in the comments last week? Well, that's because I'm better than he is. I'm not going to stoop down to his level. Because compared to me, he's just another fucking wannabe chump hater who... Yeah, he was a roadblock, but you know what? Starting tonight, I stepped over that roadblock. And I'm keeping on going. As I said, it does upset me what he said. Like, what he said to me does upset me a great deal. But I'm not going to sit there and let it bug me. Oh my God, sorry about that. There's something here in my entertainment stand that I'm trying to fix. So give me just a moment. Oh, there you go. But, you know... As I said, I am not stooping down to Andrew's level. And to anybody out there that wants to hate on me and wants to talk shit about my music, y'all can talk shit about my music all you want. But honestly, when you cross that line like Andrew did... You're going to receive this. A big fuck you. Because I don't take shit like that from anybody. I never have and I never will. Because let me tell you all something. I was raised better than that. I don't stand by and take shit like that from guys like Andrew Jordan. He took it from being professional to hating my music. To honestly, personally attacking me. And it's one thing, like I said, and I went through the same thing with this Alexander guy a while back. Not talking about Alexander Halley. Not talking about you, brother. Talking about somebody completely different. But Alexander sat there. Not just only did he attack my music and judge my music, but judging my music is fine. I don't care about that. But he personally attacked me on a personal level. And Andrew Jordan soon followed right after the other day with the same thing. Went from attacking my music to attacking me personally and not giving a shit. Saying that I don't belong here. Saying that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to music. And that I don't have what it takes. Well, <laughs> sorry to say, Andrew, because I know you're probably watching this through one of my friends. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, brother, but you're wrong. You're very wrong, dude. Because, see, you're, you're full of yourself. See, your body, your stature, your stats... For the music industry and for who you are, it might not be so little, but your mind is tiny as fuck. Your mind is this big compared to mine. 
And you want to know how that is? The way you treat people. The way you drag them down like you drug me down. The way you belittle. The way you freaking brutally attack people through social media. I'm here to tell you right now, Andrew, that all that shit that you're pulling comes to a stop right here, right now. And it ends with me. I'm going to let people know the truth about you. I'm going to let Matt know the truth about you. And everybody that you worked with, I've got screenshots to show them the proof about how you and your friend Dylan attacked me live in front of everyone. For no fucking reason. Hey, Laura Anderson. What is up? It has been a while. What is good? But as I said, Andrew, enough is enough. And to anybody out there thinking that they're going to do the same thing to me that he did, don't. Because trust me, it won't end well. Because you guys might not know this, but thanks to Kill a Clown Sounds and a lot of the haters that I got while being on that label in the past, sad as it is to say, I've ended a lot of careers. And if you don't believe me, check the stats. Myself and my former partner and brother, Eric Scrubwell, I'll admit, we put a lot of motherfuckers in their place. We've ended a lot of careers for people who have attacked us. And over the years that I was with that label, I did learn a few tips and tricks on how to do that myself in case I'm ever attacked. Well, you guys are probably thinking that I'm chicken shit for not doing it, but no, I'm not. I'm being the bigger man by not attacking Andrew Jordan and what he did to me. I'm being the bigger man and letting it go. Now, if I see it anywhere else on social media or anything like that, then I'll attack. Then I'll fire back. But he got one cheap shot. And also, this is to his little friend Dylan, because I know you're probably watching this too, man. You could do the same thing that Andrew Jordan did and fuck off. Because I ain't got time for your petty bullshit. See, while y'all are sitting there creating hate all over social media, I'm sitting here entertaining my fans. I'm sitting here building my fan base. I'm sitting here writing and recording music every day. While y'all are sitting there behind your fucking computers talking shit about how you guys are the best and blah, 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 blah. I'm sitting there actually proving it. I might not be playing shows. Yes, that is true. You guys might have more of a following on YouTube than me. That's also true. But the one thing you will never have are fans that stick up for you like mine did the other night when you guys brutally attacked me. You guys will never know what that's like to have true fans who stand beside you, who ride for you, who push you to be better. See, where me and you differ, meaning if you don't know what differ means, let me explain it to you because obviously you got the mind of a fucking child. Let me explain it to you. Differ means different. So what's different, what makes me different from you is that I've got the maturity to not attack people on social media. Even if their music's not that good, I try to do what I can to lift them up. Like, actually, the other day, I had a kid show me some of his stuff. You know, he's been, you know, checking my stuff out for a good long time. You know, and I know this kid, like, he's at a lot of the shows that I perform live through online venues and such. You know, really cool kid. He's followed me on a lot of my social media. Really nice kid. You know. 
like he is one of the few people that does motivate me see what makes me different from you is that you don't have the fans that I have you don't have the family the friends the fans that stand up for you and ride for you like I do as I said yes you may have more fans through YouTube and more views and all that shit and and that's fine dude that's that's cool I'm not knocking you for that you know and actually I commend you for that dude that's awesome like I'm proud of you for getting all those views because you did work your ass off for it just like I work my ass off every day for that but what makes me different from you is that I don't publicly attack people through social media like you did me now is it fair what you did to me not in the least honestly it's quite the opposite honestly it's the most asinine thing you could have possibly done shout out to Anthony now what's good bro so yes I may not have more views than you on YouTube I might not have money I might not be having an income through my music all that is true I'll admit that but as I said what makes me different from you and honestly at the end of the day it makes me glad that I'm not you is the fact that unlike you I actually sit down I talk to my fans. I ask them what styles they want to hear me do. I ask them what song they like. Out of all my songs that I release for the week, what song they like best. And for those of you, this is another thing that I did get told that I don't carry the way. is about my song, Notice Me. See, I got people tell me every day, Oh, you use way too much auto-tune in that. You know, I don't like auto-tune. Like, your voice is good, but I don't like auto-tune. It needs work and blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the thing. Unlike Lil Wayne, I don't use it in a bullshit way. See, I used it to compliment my voice and set the tone for the song. I didn't overuse it. And even if you did think that I overused it, that's on you. That's on you, bro. Like, if you say I overused it, you know, think what you want. But at the end of the day, there are still those who love the song, who enjoy it. And honestly, that was my first ever song. I'll admit, that was my first song ever. My first one ever where I actually stepped out of the zone of doing melodic scream vocals or raps to actually vocalize and do punk rock and regular style singing vocals. So that was the first. So I want to thank every single one of you guys who's listened to that song. Um, if you guys go to my Facebook page, it will be on there. Um, if you guys do click the link, it is available for download. You guys can download it. All you got to do is go down to where it says more in the description. Hit that down arrow. Click on SoundCloud. Go down there. Head over to SoundCloud, download it. It's free to download, free to listen to. So you guys can grab it, listen to it, bump that shit when you're in the car. You know, or if you have a kid that's into that kind of music and is in high school and is going through the same situation as I spoke about in that song, play it for them. Maybe it'll give them some confidence to, you know, talk to that special girl that they like or talk to that guy that they like. You know, and that's kind of why I made that song was to kind of speak upon this girl that I liked in high school who I was with for a while. You know, I spoke on that because the song talks about how I tried to, you know, to get her to notice me because she would always avoid me. She would always have her nose in a book or doing this or doing that until one day I finally said, you know what, I'm going to go up and talk to her. I'm going to get that confidence and do that. And sure enough, I did. And at the time, we weren't, well, we were together for a little bit on and off throughout high school. Then after high school, you know, we did get together. 
Uh, we were actually engaged for a few months before my best, my ex best friend Eric stepped in and did what he did. So it does suck. <coughs> Pardon me. But you know, that part of my life does suck. I'll admit. But, you know, I don't let it bother me. Just like I don't let all you haters who talk trash about me as far as my music goes, I don't let that affect me. The only time I let it affect me is when you call me out personally and you stoop down to that level that Andrew Jordan stooped down to. When you personally attack me like you did, Andrew, like... That's when I have issues. Is when you guys personally attack me and say the shit that you said. And normally I wouldn't let it bother me when somebody attacks me personally. Because I know it's just bullshit. But when you take it to the extent that Andrew did. That's when we have issues. When you take it as far as he did. That's when I have issues. And that's when I'm more likely going to say something. So to answer your guys' question all in all, no, I'm not going to fire back at him. No, I'm not going to release a diss track on him. But I am, however, going to be the bigger man, step over this challenge that he's created, run right through that roadblock, and keep on going for you guys. Because I ain't stopping until the day I die. The day I die is the day I stop making music. So with that being said, y'all, this has been your boy Virus. I got to hop off here because I do have some stuff I have to do, not only music-wise, but gaming channel-wise for you guys. Um, again, if you guys do want the link to my YouTube channel or to the song, please notice me. Or to any of my music, please, guys, private message me. Message me privately, and I will send you. I'll gladly send you the links. So with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Virus. I got to hop off here and get some stuff done for y'all. Um, to all my infected ones out there, stay with the sickness. Keep spreading the infection. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace. Yeah, it's been a There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Peace.